Water monotype. Water monotype, that is. I think my headphones got on. I wasn't muted. My bad. Uh, so, I wanted to start in next to the Move Tutor house. Because I've got something very important that's been building up since before I fought Florenia. We'll get to a team recap in a second. The first thing that I want to do is we've got these items called Link Stones. We've got two of them. We only need one. I'll get to the new party members in a second, but I think we've delayed Shulker long enough. He has been invaluable to our cause playing through this game, and I think it would be a complete disservice to not evolve him finally, now that he's level 50, from grinding. I didn't do a lot of grinding, just up to 48, so. Let's just start off with the most powerful thing we could do. There we go. We've got our Gorobus now. And it's learning Hydro Pump already. That is good. Now, the reason I'm picking Gorobus over Huntail is because we don't have any special attackers somehow. Which I find completely bizarre, to be honest with you. Let's give him the splash plate. And we're ready to proceed. That's the wrong window. So, the reason I picked Gorbus is because the, its attack stats are the same, but its special attack has higher IVs. And that's basically the only reason. But now that's a Gorbis, we can also give it a new move with Heart Scale. And this has been a very long time coming. Well, first off, Draining Kiss is a nice move, but I'm not going to teach him that yet. Maybe later. The move I want is Psychic. over Whirlpool, because Whirlpool is garbage. And now, we have a very powerful team member. Okay. Now let's go over team recap. But we're going to do it in Obsidia, so that I can actually show everyone. So I got everyone important up to level 48. At least. So we've got... Dark Horse, who's sitting in the PC for now, which I don't like, but... A. So we got Aquatil. Nothing's changed on Dark Horse's moveset. Then we've got Kapow, who learned Crab Hammer off-screen literally at level 48, so that's cool. Meringue is the same. Shit Pickle is the same. Duck learned Brave Bird by level up, which is phenomenal attack. So I'm very glad about that. Then these guys are all things that I'm probably going to add back into the rotation eventually, but I didn't want to spend time grinding them up. All the ones I know that aren't coming back are over here. And yes, Sangria is in here. I don't like dropping her, but 
Ludicolo just isn't that good. Which is very disappointing to me. Now, you might notice I have a ton of love discs. That's because I was trying to get a deep sea scale, which I did get off of this basculin. Uh, and I ended up getting a lot of love discs in the process, which all had heart scales. And the reason I knew they had heart scales is because of this duskull that has frisk, which was very helpful in obtaining those items, especially the scale. Now, the last thing I need to make note of is the actual party. So in our team, we have Jack Daniels, who is the same. He hasn't changed at all, unfortunately. Then we've got our first new team member, Schnapps. Probably spelled wrong, I don't really care. So he's got Earthquake, Zen Headbutt, Aqua Tail, and Secret Power. This is our Whiskash. He is very strong, and I like him a lot, so I'm going to keep him with me. Then we've got Soda Pop, who is now caught up. He's got Water Pulse, Wish, Aurora Beam, and Hydro Pump. He's also very strong. I like having him around. He also levels up faster than everybody else. Then we've got another new team member, White Claw the Sharpedo, who has Aqua Jet, Ice Fang, Crunch, and Poison Fang. Not the most powerful, like, Kapow is stronger, but we'll get into why I'm using White Claw over Kapow in a second. Then we've got Shulker, who is now a Gorobus, who has Hydro Pump, Body Slam, Psychic, and Shell Smash. Two of those moves learned at level 50. And lastly, we have Tequilo, who has Air Slash, Signal Beam, Hydro Pump, and Wide Guard. This is our man time. This is our best boy. And the reason I say that is because these new three that I've got I actually took the time to EV train, since I wasn't actually doing a lot of leveling up this time. So Schnapps has 252 attack, 176 speed, and 82 HP. Also the nice attack defense boasts have 30 EVs, that's pr 30 IVs, that's pretty nice. Then we've got, I also did EV training on Soda Pop. It's not great, but at least he has max HP. Now we've got White Claw, who is max attack, max speed. Uh, kind of average IVs, but it's better than nothing. And then finally, we have Tequilo. This is the very first Mantike I found using the Good Rod, and it has max HP, 31 IVs in HP, special attack, and special defense. It's three most important stats. And I just thought... You know what? It's a flying type. I've been using duck for a while. I still like duck, but Tequilo, you're cool, and I'm gonna keep you around. Cause you're a believe it or not, this Mantine is a very, very powerful asset to my team. As a special wall. Thanks for the follow, X Kagrosi. Welcome to the stream, man. How you doing? Uh, but yeah, this Mantine, he's not going away. He's like Soda Pop, Shulker, and Jack Daniels. He is a guaranteed member of our team now. Schnapps and White Claw probably not going to stay forever, but they're here for now, and that's what's important. So now that that's taken care of, we can actually proceed. Uh... <laughs> So I am nowhere near where I need to be, because I wanted to heart scale Psychic onto the Gorbis once I got it. But it shouldn't take us too long to get back to Tanzan Mountain. It's just a short bike ride. But yeah, uh, in the lake where I had to fight Sigmund, or by that house, you can catch Love Disc and Basculin. Love Disc can catch, can hold heart scales 50% of the time, and Basculin can hold the Deep Sea Scale or the Deep Sea Tooth, dependent on what color of Basculin it is. So I was basically, I took the Dust Skull with Frisk, I wanted to get the Basculin and just be done with it. 
But then I realized, you know what? There's a ton of love disc here. I might as well get a ton of heart scales. So I have... Oh, hello. Um... Cool. Uh, I guess I'll get a shiny clink. Um... I don't have very many Pokeballs, unfortunately. But... I'll get more once I have money, because I have no money. I kind of ran out. Which is why I didn't take the time to EV train everybody. Because I don't have enough to buy the berries to reduce their EVs. On the stats that I don't want. Can you please... Stay in the ball? Like, I only have so many net balls. Can you just calm down? You're just a clink. This is good. This is getting a little ridiculous. <laughs> Please don't. <laughs> uh, we don't politic here. Well, we can, right? But it has to be civil. <laughs> we can't just, like, scream at each other. I don't like doing that. And there we go. Shiny Clink. So if anyone wants a shiny clink, then tell me and I'll trade it to you. I mean, I can't use it. It's not water. So. Anyways, yeah, it's about time we, like, actually proceed with the story. So we gotta go into Tanzan Mountain and save Laura. But I am going to heal first, because I want to be able to set my spawn point here. Let's check out this clink. Let's see, let's see how it turned out. First off, get in this box. Didn't have clear body. Useless. Okay. It's actually not terrible. 27 both attack stats. Could be bulkier. Oh well. Clink's still alright. God, I cannot stand Oricorio's cry. so obnoxious. Can't run from it either, apparently. And off we go, finally. I don't remember which direction I'm supposed to go first. I think it's this way. This is where I saw them before, but how would he get through this gate? Um, Team Meteor must have some way of opening it, right? So maybe there's a switch somewhere. Ah! Oh! Oh no, now I'm all dirty. Wait, the gate opened? There must have been a switch there. Oops. Well... Boris is giving you a headache. Gives everyone a headache, don't worry about it. Oh, okay. Apparently that's a switch. Cool. Yeah, the forest gives everybody a headache. Don't worry about it. They're asleep. Cool. 
Oh yeah, this this area gives me a headache. If you want to talk about places in this game that give headaches. Can we please not... Can we please buck this trend of missing my first attack every fight check, please? Double Edge Mini Ore. That's a new one. I think if at least it was going to use a normal move, it would click Explosion. I'd drink a whole carton of orange juice for the stream. Well, at least you're being healthy. <laughs> Lunge. That's a move you don't see very much. Alright, what do I have for Motham? White Claw can deal with Motham. Got Ice Fang. It's a nice shark. This Sharpedo is actually really good. Like, the whole super train in it. EV training, anyway. Not super training. Oh, you get burned too often, though. Did you know that Aqua Jet was the only move, the only water type move that Sharpedo gets by level up? It's so great. <laughs> Alright, just send in Soda Pop. It's only an Embor. That's a lot of experience. Soda Pop levels up way too quickly. Oh, this puzzle. Oh, why this puzzle? Oh, I don't like this puzzle. See, what color do I need to get to? This one? No. There we go. Now I just move until I'm out. Except not on that side. There we go. God, I hate that room. Oh, wow. Um, well, this is a horrible matchup. Go ahead, Tequilo. Yeah, this Mantine is going to be our ace in the hole for everything. Because Mantine is my favorite. One of them, anyway. It's tied for my favorite, I want to say. The other being Araquanid, which I can't get until later, so not worried about it. Another mini ore. Hmm. Uh, well, it's okay. Mantine is super bulky and apparently super inaccurate. Can you hit, please? Thank you. Wow, just barely. Smiley plant. It's dead plant now. Yeah, I'm kind of getting uh, bodied right now. At least they're not electric types. Ooh, I can actually earthquake this thing. How about that? Good job, Schnapps. I'm so glad I added this Whiskash as well. He's he's like he's the weakest of the new three. At the same time, he does no earthquake. So Alright, let's see if we can't remember how this area works. Think you're hot? I do. I'll beat you up, kid. 
that didn't do any damage. All right. I'm gonna die. Well, all right, this is the one problem with Sharpedo, is that if it can't knock something out, it's just gonna die. It's a made of glass. It's kind of frustrating in that way. Crobat, how about that? I'm not trying to escape. Just trying to ram my head into your teeth. Glass shark. It is a glass shark. It might as well be made of glass. He's just not strong enough to live a hit. But ain't nothing living that. Let's let's uh, send in Shulker in her his new glory, the Gorbis. I just need to get him an ice move, and then I'll be perfect. Oh, hello. Yeah, this is fine. Hey, Pokemon out. This time I'm taking you down. Girl just lost their entire furniture to the forest bullshittery. Hey, Mega, you want to complete that side quest? Good job, Serena. Yeah. It's not in the forest, though. All of the furniture is in the town. What do you mean, oh god, that's better? Is it not? What is the XP share challenge? Oh god. <laughs> oh loud, he coming. Oh he chonky. Let's just get in. The trainer that I could level up off of was really nice this time. Uh, had a superior, Nidoking, Typhlosion, and Gardevoir. And the Gardevoir didn't know a fairy move, so I could just use Sharpedo to fight it. There were actually three different trainers for me to challenge. One of them was a double battle that I wasn't good at, so I didn't try it. The other one had a Rufflet as their first Pokemon. It's not that bad, but the thing is, he also has a Garchomp and a Gudra. <laughs> like, how am I supposed to level up off of that? And they're both over level 50. Town is giving you a headache now? Don't worry about it, okay? The town doesn't take that long to get through. Oh, hello, Laura. Just based on the massive hole in the cell, I'm going to assume that Sephira already pulled herself out of there. But that means that she's somewhere in the space, and the others are probably hunting her. I think we should find her before anything bad happens. Let's hurry. I want this heal. I can actually go into the cell. All right. Apparently I cut my hand at some point. Alright. What have you got? A goal bat? I'm sorry, dude. <laughs> How much is this gonna do to me? Probably a lot. Oh my! That was way too much. I actually just missed Ice Fang. I'm so upset. Alright, I guess uh, 
<laughs> we're not going to be able to train White Claw at all. What's next? Another Serena. Alright. Sure. Ouchy hand indeed. I'm gonna hit you with a gourd in a minute, Serena. That was a nice crit. Alright. Tequila is really gonna start to shine once we get into the like the later gyms that are double battles, because wide guard is a move that cannot be under it cannot be understated how good wide guard is, or I should say overstated. Mantine is just so bulky, man. This is the perfect tank for my team. only problem I'm gonna have is electric types. You hate wide guard? Why? It's an awesome move. Ruining your earthquake. Alright. Understandable. It's good if you have it yourself. Hello, Delcaddy. Wanna die? <laughs> So I walked into my living room like half an hour ago to find that my dog had a pair of bunched up socks tied to its collar. Uh, he was wearing the cone because he keeps like biting his feet and we want him to stop because it'll bite him to the point where it bleeds. And so I see this socks on his collar and I'm like, why have you done this? And my mom says that she wanted it because it works like the collar and it was more comfortable for the dog. Uh, but as she's saying this, the dog is chewing on his own feet. So, <laughs> it doesn't really work. And yeah, reflect and light screen are great. I just don't have anything that can learn them. If I got a star you from that one special egg, I could have used that. But, hey. Thank you, schnapps. I was getting a little annoyed with you not being able to hit this cat. Oh, hello. How are you today, Heliolisk? Dead. But yeah, it was just kind of like, why are you tying socks to the dog collar? <laughs> Type thing, you know? Anyone else have those moments? where the dog just has socks tied to its collar. You? Wait. How? Oh, wait. I just came from there. But not exactly that. Good. Uh, well, this didn't work. Technology kind of went bad. That's good to hear. It means you're not going to win. If your technology's crappy. Jack, we need to have a talk. Right? You're missing too many attacks. Okay? Too many. It's getting ridiculous. Like, could you not? type thing. Okay, now we got a Pyloswine on the field. 
is a move with some accuracy. I don't have a choice. It's either Muddy Water or Water Gun, and there's a huge power distribution difference there. Like, Water Gun has 40 power. Muddy Water has 95. I can't do damage with Water Gun anymore. And I'm afraid the first water move I'm going to be able to get that he can use is probably going to be Waterfall. Which I still have quite some time before I get to. That's going for all of my physical water types, is that Waterfall is probably the next move they're going to be able to use. Oh well. I know I can't hit with Muddy Water, that's the problem. But I don't have anything else I can use. Felix, you shouldn't have come. What, Laura too? It would have been better to just abandon me. I can take care of myself. Now she's put herself in danger. Just give me a moment. I can open the central gate. Hold it right there. Buy me some time, Felix. Oh, I'm an alone. Alright. Well, that's annoying. That's definitely a Storm Drain Luminion, right? Sorry, Schnapps. There was no way for you to get out of there. It is not a Storm Drain Luminion? <laughs> okay. Well, this is not good, because I'm very weak. What? Okay. That's fine. Now get out. <laughs> what the heck? What was the strat, Luminion? Can you explain? Hey, Joel, how's it going? Hope you've been having a good day. I have. I got a good amount of grinding done. And now the Galissapod is dead, so that's cool. We might actually be able to pull through this. At least I hope so. Mudsdale. Alrighty then. Let's just double Hydro Pump it. Make sure it dies. Oh, hello. Yeah, no stamina boost for you, bud. Alrighty then. Well, that went better than I could have hoped for. How much does it do? Not enough. My team has so much special bolt to it. Doing goodish, little under the weather. Oh. I'm sorry. Oh, wait, I can just click wish. Like, are you sick or just not feeling great? Why can't you just be extri extricated? What a word. Drat. <laughs> I like that better. Blast, we couldn't stop them. That's right, you can't. Now are you gonna run, or am I going to burn you two to a crisp also? Boo. Pathetic. Let's go. Sick under the weather-ish, my throat is scratchy and I have a small headache. Oh, that sounds like a cold. <laughs> oh yeah, she heals you. Cool. Yeah, that sounds like you're catching a cold to me. Whoa, what the heck? There's not even anything in there. Okay. Yeah, you bet there's security breaches everywhere. I'm all of them. Well, it is now flu season where I live, so... Ah. It's flu season here, too, actually.
I'm kind of lucky that I haven't caught anything, honestly. Is this going to kill me, probably? I wouldn't put it past this game. Oh, it actually didn't. Cool. That's the first attack that Sharpedo has lived in this entire area. And he didn't even level up. Good. The government invented flu season. It's just not true. <laughs> I won't believe it. Barely started and people are already coughing in my school. I haven't seen a lot of coughing in my area yet. I don't know if that's lucky or it just hasn't hit us yet. But... Hopefully, it's just not going to hit us at all. That would be great. Some asshole decided to go to bakery and go into the kitchen with a cough and bake some cookies. Brilliant. <laughs> just brilliant. Like, what were they actually thinking? It's... It has nothing to do with the media, Joe. Let's, uh, fight these idiots. Ringo. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, we're gonna miss the first attack, remember? Oh, no, he actually didn't. That's honestly surprising. He did hit me with Future Sight, so that's probably not gonna be good. Uh, how much is it? Oh, it's not going to hit me yet? Alright. Sure. That's going to hurt. They broke so many health shit just by going into the kitchen and touching the ingredients that contaminated everything in the kitchen. Beautiful. Like, I don't understand why people think, oh, I'm sick, let me just go bake some cookies. That seems like a good idea. I'll just distribute them. But see, we don't like sickness. And there's sickness in the cookies. Okay? That's the problem here. Also, Shulker is great, but a little slow might need to start using Shell Smash. Mostly everyone in the bakery is going to be sick. Ooh, good. Why not? What do you mean, why not cocaine? Why? <laughs> what does that mean, Joe? I might have to go back and heal. I really hope... I really don't want to, though. But half my team is dead. Cocaine. Cocaines. You, what? We made again, Felix. Stow your hands. I'm in no condition to fight. This entire base and force has been reduced to a pathetic set of workers. Because of that woman. You know, the one with the Dragonite. You heard what happened, right? She attacked us as we were crossing the lake. We each came on individual rafts. Pairs grouped up, partner with partner. Tara was with me, of course. And that witch decided, hey, what if we shot the sitting ducks in the pond? She swooped down from the sky and started shooting us down two by two. There wasn't anything we could do but sit there and take her attacks, and... Tara's dead, Felix. That woman killed her. Tara and four others. Most of us were able to swim back to shore, but I couldn't save her. That's twice now that I... Ugh. I'll have my revenge on her. Somehow. Someday. Until then, leave me. Go. I won't try to stop you or anything. I just need to be alone. Like I was when all of this began. I 
feel bad for Simon, man. He's just doing his best. Oh. Good. Uh, well... No, I actually want to go back and heal. What am I doing? And like, seventh period... Wait. Like, we were the third period that day, and the teacher had four more classes to teach, so almost everybody but the first two classes for her is now going to be sick. And, like, the seventh period is bakery that actually does orders for customers. They will also get the customers sick, and then they eat the ruined ingredients. Wow. Uh. That's a lot of bad. I'm actually going to pick this up this time. That is a lot of garbage to just put in the cookies. And it's bad that will ruin sales for the bakery. Yeah, I would think it would. Like, I wouldn't want people to get their livelihoods or whatever ruined, but it's a class, so it probably won't be too bad. But still, you want to not be sick when you're baking the cookies. It's just not okay. I'm not sure it will ruin the sales necessarily, but it'll definitely bring them down for a period of time. <laughs> Alright, let's head back now. I really wish I didn't have to run all the way out here, but... My team was being scavenged upon. I'm actually gonna just kill it. It lived. Whatever, I'll kill it again. Hey, Dark Horse. How's the Monroe run doing? It's actually going really well. Like, surprisingly well. You weren't here yesterday, so you didn't witness the absolute disaster that Sigmund Connell was. Uh. The successful fight I had with Connell in the mansion. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. Took 35 minutes. And most of that was just the Electivire. Pretty sure that the children who started bakery at the beginning of the school year took a test that allowed them to be in the kitchens of actual restaurants, and this test goes over the fact that you should not even go to the restaurant if you are sick at all. Yeah! <laughs> uh, that's a very good way to think of it, just don't cook if you're sick. But it's a class, so they can't exactly say that. Yeah, Connell is just a problem altogether. He's not worth the trouble. Anyways, let's actually continue. Can't control its ener energy. Are there intruders again? Yes, there are intruders, bud. I'm not even going to stay in this time. Crunch won't kill it. I'm not even going to stay in. I want this Sharpedo to level up. Teacher straight up tells them to not go into the kitchen if you are sick. Well... If you don't tell the teacher that you're sick, and she doesn't see that you are, then probably wouldn't try to stop you. Which is real unfortunate, of course, but... Another Vikavolt! Alrighty. I'll take it. Ah! Good. It hit Zap Cannon. Very cool. Uh. So, can a crunch kill it? Probably. 
It's just a Vika Volt. It's only good stat is special attack. Nice. Can't control anything. That's right. Get lost. Only two more. We're almost there. That's a palisand. Alrighty. That's not something I was expecting to see here. Also, it always just lives with a sliver. Like, this Sharpedo White Claw has the highest attack stat out of anything in my party. Or in the PC. At like 180. So when the chair Pokemon coming out? Good question. Uh... But once it does, I'll probably still use it. Because design doesn't really mean anything in terms of usefulness. And hey, the, they might make a design for a chair Pokemon, and it might actually look cool. You never know. One last guy. Wait, you're not the supervisor? You're right. I've come to eat your Grumpig. That's bacon. Why it's a Zoroark? You know, I think I fought this guy in the factory, didn't I? Hmm. I didn't think the scientists would actually come back. I thought it was just the grunts. But yeah, the Electivire and the Alolan Raichu yesterday just caused so many problems. But we got through it somehow. It took it only took all of our healing items. Except for the max revive. Alright. Sigmund, you're going to pay for everything you've done. And what exactly does that include, Sephira? Restraining the psychotic woman who attacked me? Caring for those assigned to me by the city? Caring? You think pinning a child down and lighting her up is caring for her? You think half the things you've done to me were caring for me? Don't talk to me about caring, Doctor. You don't know the meaning of the word. I would not say such things if I were you. I've devoted my life to learning how to care for the rose around me. I will not be so disrespected by an unruly little girl. Lizzie, Lizzie, no, I know. I mustn't become angry. Is he talking to himself again? Nothing. It's nothing. Doctor, is something the matter? You. No. There are more pressing concerns right now. Step aside. Zell, I've just received a communication. Lin will be coming here shortly to observe our progress. Lin. Why does that sound familiar? Familiar? Lin is the true media leader of Team Meteor. Even Solaris answers to her. That can only be why. Now, though, Avra still won't listen to us. That Avra, what are you doing to it? Well, um... We need to get into a certain place, but it's sealed tight, so we figured maybe if we amplify Abra's power and ask it nicely, that maybe it could teleport us into there? Unfortunately, this stupid thing won't listen to a single one of our damn commands. It's just been causing trouble constantly. Does that mean that everything strange that's happening around Spinal Town is because of this? Correct. Although unlike previous operations, our objective was not to disturb the nearby areas, any oddities or damage to town and surrounding area may have incurred are simply a side effect of Abra's unfocused power. That's enough, Zell. Focus on getting that thing tamed, otherwise Lin is going to have all of our heads. Hey, we're still busting this party up. Don't think you can just ignore us. In that case, you can be our test subject. 
Go ahead, Zell. Allow me to finish what I started at Pool Lake. Safira, where did she... Goodbye, Safira. I'll enjoy not meeting you again. And the other is Zell? Very good. Where did you send them? Um, I... I don't think they actually know. It could be anywhere. Work on it. We need to have that Abra focus to perfection. Lynn will be here any minute. Well. Now we are in a cavern filled with toxic waste. Brilliant. Oh, but there's mining. I think mining is worth being exposed to some toxic waste. Nice water stone as well. <gasps> we finally got it, boys. <laughs> it only took seven episodes. <laughs> we got a helix fossil. Okay. Yeah, I'll keep it. Don't worry. But... Will I still get to keep it after I do that side quest, or does it disappear from my inventory? Felix? Ew, my outfit is all dirty. Where are we? It smells awful in here. And is this some kind of acid? These containers look like the uh, ones in the meteor space. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Isn't there another one somewhere? I really hate the number seven. That must seem really strange to you. I'm sorry. Um, how do I explain? For me, it's really, like, bothers me when there isn't an even number of something. I know it's weird, but it's so how I've always been. In particular, the number eight always held a special significance for me. To me, it's just relaxing to see something set up in eight parts. It's a sort of perfect symmetry. Does that make sense at all? Charlotte gives, likes to give me a hard time about it. <laughs> She'd be laughing at me now. But the reason I hate the number seven? It was reminded by something one of the meteors said. They said Lynn was coming, right? I knew a girl named Lynn once, back at the orphanage. It was a couple of years ago. She was a little girl, just a little younger than Anna. But she was terrifying. She took pleasure in finding out other secrets and extorting them. Even though she was so young, she always tried to manipulate everyone. And she was good at it. And for me, whenever I finally had eight of something, she would always take one. For instance, I would often write and draw in my notebook, and I had differently colored pens, but if I ever got eight pens, she would break one of them, and she would just walk that way laughing. I know it seems childish, but in a place like that, you don't get your own possessions all very often, and she always had to ruin it. I was always left with seven, and something broken that couldn't be replaced. That's why I hate it. I'm not really sure what happened to that girl, Lynn. The doctor got really angry at her after she pulled a trick on him. He took her upstairs, locked us in our cells, and after that, we never saw her again. Some of the kids say she escaped, others say the doctor killed her. I don't really know. But there's no way that team girl would be associated with Team Meteor. She would be way too young, right? Let's see if we can find a way out of here. I'm sorry for talking so much, I was just thinking. It all seems so strange. If we were both taken down here, then maybe Sephira's nearby. I'm going to go look for her, okay? Yeah, I'll save beforehand. Just to be safe. Because an Ammonite... Look, I've been having some difficulties getting good special attackers in this run, so an Ammonite would be fantastic. Like, right now I've got three in my party. Thankfully. Took a while to get them, but... They're here now, and that's what's important. Oh, there it is. Shards. Yeah, I've got... Shulker finally evolved. I ended up going with Gorbis. Because... Special attack IV is better anyways, and I need special attackers. Uh... So yeah, that's... Basically, the only thing that influenced my decision. That and I got a scale before I got a tooth. These earthquakes are like the ones that have been happening in Chrysolia. We can't have gone too far, but they're stronger in here. Could we be near their source? Y 
Yeah, I personally think Gorbis is better too. I just was thinking, oh, it's got Body Slam. Body Slam's a good move. I could get a Hunt Tail. You know? And since I've already got two different Water Dark types, uh, there's no real reason for me to pack Hunt Tail instead of Gorbis. There we go. Alright, this fight shouldn't be too hard. Right? Is it a dead end? That's not good. Who's there? Zephira? Laura, is that you? And Felix? I'm stuck at the bottom of this cursed chasm. Fortunately, the echo is enough for me to hear you two. Are you okay? I'm not hurt, but I won't, don't see a way up. It's too narrow down here to fly. And then there's that. The earthquakes are only getting bigger. Do you think whatever is causing them might be around here? If we could find it, maybe we can help all of Chrysolia. Right, take a look then. I'll keep looking for some way to climb up. Alright. Alright, see ya. <laughs> um. What's park ground? Wait. Oh, yeah, you mean this. Uh, what about Polyrath? Polyrath is a physical attacker. It's not bad, I just don't have it. I could always get a Politoed. Politoed is something I'm seriously considering just for Drizzle. Because Drizzle would help my team so much. I wouldn't have to have a Gastrodon with the Rain Dance. Okay. That was... You should definitely have Drizzle. I know. I was hoping... I don't know when the earliest you can get Wingle is, but I was hoping to kind of get a Pelipper. <laughs> I know there are better options, but... I don't get it. The passage wasn't there before, was it? Are you making any progress up there? Well, yes, but not. we're not exactly sure how. We j just turned around and there was a new tunnel. Like something really big just dug through the stone. Whatever did that would have to be extremely strong and large. And nearby. Be on your guard, I'm going to keep moving. Be careful! We should get going too. Maybe we can find a way down to meet her. Uh, no. I looked it up. The only thing you can find on the sand in Apophil is Sandy Gast. At some point, they changed where you can get Winkle. But you can you can get Wingle there after the 13th badge. But, yeah, it, it's probably because of Gen 7, after they gave it Drizzle. Drizzle is just such a strong ability, they probably just didn't want people to have it this early. So I might end up getting a Poliwag then. I can't right now, but later. Another dead end. Just how big is this chasm? There's really no telling, but it's putrid. What do you mean? There's nothing but acid down here. Acid? Oh, like the kind we saw before. All these containers look like the ones from the base. Energy byproduct. But how could it have gotten from the base to down here? Possibly the same way we did. But it also means we may not be far from the meteor base. In fact, based on that and this stone, I'd guess that we're somewhere in the depths of Tanzan Mountain. I wouldn't be surprised if the sudden injection of this poison upset the wild Pokémon. Whatever's causing those earthquakes must just be trying to retaliate against the meteors for this toxicity. That's terrible! So it's all Team Meteor's fault! Regardless, keep moving. There's gotta be an exit somewhere. Ah! Laura, are you alright up there? Laura? Find her, Felix. Oh god, it's shaking so much. Alright, here we go. It's time. 
Yeah, too much shakage is right. Felix, can you still hear me? How is Laura? That thing is moving fast. Whatever it takes, we can't let Laura... Watch out, it's headed your way. Steady, Felix. We have to protect Laura. That's the thing that's responsible for the earthquakes. If we can take it down, it'll be a huge burden lifted. Do your best to subdue it. I'll see if I can get into position. Chad is one big Steelix. <laughs> it's not a joke either. It is a really big Steelix, and it's very strong. <laughs> and now White Claw is dead, but that was predictable. Okay. Let's see. Who's best for this? Probably Soda Pop. Get him with a Hydro Pump. Or not. Because I'm slow. Uh. Alright. Sure. Um. Tequila? No, it knows Stone Edge. Alright. This is problem. <laughs> This is a big problem. Because it just one-shots everything with Earthquake. Uh... Hey, Midlow, how's it going? Have you come to watch me get demolished by a Steelix? Why'd it use Crunch this time? Why can't it use Crunch every time? Pretty good, I guess. What do you mean, I guess? You've been having a bad day, too. <laughs> Iron Head. Will that even kill me? Oh, yeah. Bad month. Oof. Well, it is October. So... What even? Car broke down. I... Well, this was predictable, honestly. I'm not supposed to have trouble with that. Oh, I can actually access the PC from here. So that's cool. I shouldn't need to, though. So there's a way I can easily do this, and I think I'm just going to take that <laughs> route. Hopefully it's easy, that is. Let's see, where is my focus sash? There it is. I'll give a focus sash to Shulker, and then I'll lead with him in Shell Smash. Is that the only bad thing that happened? I mean, that's pretty bad, and, and it's it's enough to warrant. Oh wow! Really? Really? Are we being serious right now? Wow. Thanks, Diglett. Stop being bad. Listen, okay? That's not a case of me being bad. Rocky Terrain notes up. I don't think I need them. I just don't understand why Earthquake was not very effective. Dealership told me it would be a month before they could look at it. Wow. That is... a little crazy. That's a long time to go without a... Earthquake adds rock typing. Of course it does. <sighs> so the one move I have that would be good against it, I just can't use. Alright. Let's do it. 
Yeah, I know, Sephira. It's a, just a Steelix. It's just a Steelix. We can do this. It's not a problem. Right? Just go with the shell smash. <laughs> it's it's okay. It's only a Steelix. And this is why I needed the focus smash. So I'm probably gonna miss knowing my luck. Uh but this should be really good for just getting his HP down a bit. Okay. Or I could just kill it. That <laughs> Okay. So, there's a reason why I said that Shulker was my most powerful team member. I did not think I would one-shot it. <laughs> I am more than 20 levels below it. Yeah, it got butt-slammed real hard. Giddy up, you damn, you dumb beast. <laughs> Felix, grab Laura and hop on. We're going for a joy ride. Alright, here's the plan. Meteor still needs to be stopped, and Laura needs to be taken home. It's not that far. I can easily take myself there. No chance. I'm not taking any risk of you getting hurt again. So, Felix, I'm going to leave you dealing with the Meteor and the Patol Sabra to you. I'll escort Laura back home and then be right behind you. Get in there, terminate that Abra, and get out ASAP. From the sounds of it, their real leader is coming any time now. If she gets here, it's only going to be trouble for us. Understood? Let's move. Hold on. Before before I go in there, though, there's stuff down here. Uh, like, a bunch of rocks. And bowls. <laughs> also, Durant? Alright. I can switch her back now. Him, even. I have too many items in. I'm going home, you do all the work. That's how it always is. It's a Pokemon game, what do you expect? Hold on to that. Hopefully no more Diglets ruin my day. I don't believe you can actually do the real secret down here until you finish the Abra storyline. But there is more stuff down here eventually. That's money. Yeah. You gotta wait until later to do more down here. Wait, am I fully healed? Even more ones you have rock climb. Well, that stuff's new to me. I've never gotten rock climb in this game. So. Oh, wow, this place is just dead. There's no one here. Oh, wow, I completely messed that up. Oops. That'll be episode 18 contents just before endgame, yeah. I'm gonna be doing all the rock climb secrets just to see. Oops, I should have saved. Behave, you stupid vermin. Or, that is, um, would you please listen to us, Abra? Bye. I believe that was Abra's way of politely declining. You little... What, Felix made it back? This thing really is useless. Perhaps it would be best to just terminate the project before this Lin arrives. Yeah, this one's not that bad. It sounds like she has a rather critical nature. This level of uncontrollable power would indeed be unacceptable. We can't just really leave the poor Abra here after all we put it through. We can't do anything at all if we can't even get close enough to deactivate the machine without the stupid thing jumping us away. I don't need your sass, Abra. 
Felix, you wish to spare the people of Spinal Town that chaos caused by this untamed teleportational energy, correct? Good idea. Let's just let Felix deal with it. Go ahead, take the little bugger out. It'll work out for all of us with how annoying it is. Zell? Okay, that's enough. Felix, deal with this. We aren't going to stop you. Just take down this thing and you can put the chaos to Chrysolia and rest. I swear I have dyslexia or something. I can't read correctly. I thought it was only level 65. Shouldn't matter. Yeah. Doesn't this thing have the same stats as Mega Elakazam? <laughs> In which case, I don't outspeed it. But, yep, I do not outspeed it. <laughs> if it was just an Abra, I would have been okay. Yeah, this thing is, uh, it's a bit strong. Just a little bit. It, it's pretty easy, though. As long as you have a full team, this thing is not a challenge at all. That being said, it does one-shot everybody. I'm pretty sure Hyper Beam isn't its only attack. Could be wrong. Probably wrong. <laughs> Let's be honest. You just need to... Yeet him down. I might actually live this Hyper Beam. Nope. Yeah, I'm pretty sure... I don't know what its other move is, obviously, but I'm pretty sure it only has three copies of Hyper Beam. <laughs> okay. It's over. Doesn't matter anymore. The only person on my team that could have realistically lived a Hyper Beam there is Tequilo. I'm so sorry it had to come to this, Abra. That seems to be a relief. So, Eve, will the nearby regions return to normal now? Is the damage permanent? Any objects that have been moved by Abra's energy previously will remain there where they are. And further, there are likely some objects that will still move, already having some been imbued with unstable psychic energy. However, no more instances of such things will be created. Slowly, Chrysolia will calm itself. Lynn has just arrived. Felix is back? Um, yes? And they helped us subdue Abra, so... Lynn can't know that there's an enemy among us. She'll be furious. Right, Felix. You're going to pretend to be among our ranks. You're a new recruit. Understand? You may not like it. Neither do we. But I suggest we temporarily compromise or else we'll both be ripped to shreds. Got it? Report. We experimented using the pulse end to amplify Abra's powers to teleport a party into the heart of the ruin. However, in the end, Abra's power could not be controlled and the project was terminated. Incompetent. Why are these here? This is Felix, a new recruit. Felix has been helping us with the Pulse Abra project. Lying becomes you serious. I beg your pardon? And the other? Ahem. Excuse me for the tardy introduction. My name is Dr. Sigmund Connell, resident psychiatrist to Reborn City and proud administrator of the city orphanage. Dr. Connell has been a great asset to us. With his help, we have now obtained two of the four keys, Ruby and Amethyst. Doctor. Forgive me for asking, but have we somehow met before? Impossible. Yes. As for the other keys, Solaris has reported a lead on Sapphire, and Elias is currently tracking down Emerald. Commander. A giant Steelix has just breached the side of the base. It's tearing it apart. A what? You wouldn't happen to know anything about this, would you, Felix? Size doesn't equate to strength. I'll deal with this. Alright, Steelix, you want revenge on these guys as much as I do, right? That's what I thought. They trashed your home, so let's trash theirs. Sapphira. Who are you? Do you believe that you can protect your sisters by destroying us? Do I know you? Your petty family bonds are meaningless. Petty? If anything threatens my sisters, I'll tear it apart. That's loyalty. Something you've probably never heard of. Loyalty. Family. How meaningless. Nothing beats pure, unbridled power. Hydragon, annihilate them. Felix, leave now. 
If she doesn't see you again, it's better for everyone involved. Get going. This will be your only chance. Can do, buddy. Absolutely can do. Hey, thanks for the follow, Robot Dog. How you doing? Welcome to the stream. Oh yeah, the, this entire room is gone now. So that's cool. <laughs> Alright. Oh wait, uh... I can actually do this now. So I'm going to. I don't remember what this it gets you. But... Guess we'll find out. I think it's up, isn't it? Somewhere. It's the other one. An event Pokemon you cannot use. Well, I still want to see what it is because I don't remember. I've only done this once. It's a Surviper. Oh. There's too many wild Pokemon here. Oh, I, I, I can't even do it yet. Apparently. There's something else blocking me. I'm not sure what it is. Ooh! I like Hippopotas. If I were doing Mono Ground, I definitely would pick it up. Hippowdon is one of my favorite just things to look at. It's a nice beefy hippo. He likes beef. That's not a survivor. But yeah, I honestly thought that that was the prerequisite for that, but I guess I was wrong. Alright. Now, I'm pretty sure I'm strong enough for this next fight. I've never had trouble with it before, I just wish I had a move that wasn't Muddy Water. Because it's weakened in this field. I'm going. I'm not using the door. Screw that. Until she proves otherwise, I'm going to be worried about her. Look, I'm sure she's fine. This is Safira we're talking about. She's not going to go out that easy. I'm glad. So glad we're all safe. But um, where's Safira? Yeah, but she was so cool riding that giant Steelix. Do you think she, when she comes back, she'll let us all take a ride together? Anna, she fell off of it at a the peak of Tanzan Mountain. Sapphira probably won't make it. Noel, don't lie! I'm not. It almost says it's a rough fall, too. Don't get your hopes up, alright? If you don't have any hope, then how can you keep moving forward? Oh, please. I'm sure she'll pull some mid-air Dragonite help me out thing and then just fly away peacefully. People in our family don't go out that easily. Speaking of your family, where are your parents? There's a reason we were at the orphanage, you know. Let's not talk about that. Who was the woman with the high dragon? There was a lady there? I didn't see anyone. Yes, Anna, that high dragon didn't just appear on its own. Someone was riding it. Felix, would you have any idea? Lynn? That's a gross name. Hey, you didn't happen to get my pendant back, did you? The amethyst pendant? What do you mean they're using it as a key? A key? Wait. Anna, where did you say you got that pendant from? I've had it as long as I can remember. It's from my father. I just remembered an old story I read. In the story, it described an ancient city built around the craft site of a meteor. The temple that housed the meteor was sealed by four crystal keys, ruby, sapphire, emerald, and amethyst. But the city fell into ruin, and it was lost. What if your amethyst pendant is actually the key from the story? Then that would mean that the ancient city became reborn. So the ancient temple is just underneath reborn city? Wait a second. There must be a way why they blew up the grand stairway. I heard that when the city officials explored underneath the stairway, they found a huge cavern with a room in its base. They found the lock, and now they need the keys. Heather's ruby ring must be one of the keys, too. We have to stop Team Meteor from getting those other keys. Whatever they're trying to do down there, it can't be good. Which leaves emerald and sapphire, right? Wait, so those keys are embedded into jewelry, right? Laura, do you remember those sapphire bracelets Dad gave you as a present for your birthday that one year? Oh, I had entirely forgotten. Where is it? I I lost it when Mom and Dad died. Oh. It's possible they didn't survive the fire. Fire? Is that where you got those burn scars from? 
Anna, for the last time, I don't have any scars. See? Perfectly clear. I don't see anything. Right, sorry, I keep forgetting. I won't talk about them anymore. But since it is important, that... What fire are you talking about? Um, well, it was something that happened with Charlotte when we were younger. Yeah, okay, I don't want to be here for this. Charlotte! Awkward. Yeah. So, how is everybody? Hey, I know! While they're out, why don't Felix and Noel finish their battle from earlier? I suppose it is necessary. Okay, let's go outside. Last one there is a rod and execute. Oh boy. Noel. I remember nothing about this fight. <laughs> Other than that you can't get the field notes before it. Um. I could give you a metronome. That would be useful, right? Is the Pokemon we are going to find in the temple Deoxys? No. <laughs> I can bring them up. Well, the only thing I'm really concerned with is that it weakens Earthquake, it weakens Muddy Water, and it heals grounded Pokemon every turn. Those are the only real important... And it boosts grass moves, but this isn't a grass gym leader, so I shouldn't need to worry about that, right? Right? <laughs> Game... <laughs> I guess the only thing I'd actually want to know is what seed does it activate and what does it do? Because that might actually affect what I do with it. Where's my metronome? Hold on. I've got to have two metronomes in the PC then. Elemental boosts defense and applies ingrain. Where's the other metronome? Oh, I left it on Margarita. Okay. There we go. White Claw can have it. Metronome best move. It's actually the item. Nature power becomes energy ball. Nothing on my team can learn ancient power, except for Sangria, which... I guess that would be useful here, but she's only level 39. So it's probably not going to help very much. Uh, any other items I can give out? Like... Odd Incense only helps one member of my team, and this is not that type of gym. I'm a devout follower of R and Jesus. I basically have to be a lot of the time, too. Like... There's not a lot that I can prepare for in this game. Most gyms are just luck for me. I say most. The last two haven't really been luck. Aya was pretty tame overall. Alright, I don't know who I should leave with, so I'll just leave with White Claw. Okay, Nomos and I are ready whenever you are. Like before, take your place. Okay, okay, this will be a six on six. Um, it's singles, right? Either trainer can make substitutions, and uh, the battle will end when all six of one trainer's Pokemon have been knocked out. Well, Nomos, do you think we can do it? Begin. Noel the Sleepy Boy. Okay, I didn't think he led with that. I should have given him the... Ah. Either burning nor corrosive field help you, so good luck. <laughs> You're right. Uh, this is scary, actually. This is a Porygon Z. Yeah, it's raining. I really should have had a focus sash on him. Uh... He can't hit me with Discharge. Oh, that's going to hurt, though. Oh, why did you have to get a special attack boost? I have no healing items. This is a problem. Uh, 
fissure? No thanks. Oh, hello. Uh, I guess I'll die. <laughs> um. Oh no, this is bad. It's a flame orb swallow. Yeah, he's gonna spam facade. This isn't good. Aw, oh, come on, man. That would have been perfect. I just have to miss Rock Slide. You know? This isn't a gym battle unless I miss Rock Slide. Yeah, this is a loss. I can't come back right now. Swallow just outspeeds everything and kills me. Unless Soda Pop can live and get off a Hydro Pump. Well, he'll live, definitely, but... Alright, that's Swallow dealt with, right? Yeah. Beware? Don't I outspeed this? Okay, I don't, but I lived. Cool. Uh... Thanks, game. <laughs> I guess. This isn't good. I might have to just rely on a Shell Smash sweep. Which I really don't want to, but... Why is it so fast? Is it... It's not Scarfed. Because it switched moves. Are you kidding me, Tequilo? You just needed to not flinch. Will that even kill me? Yeah. Alright, well, here's how this is going to work then. We're going to click Shell Smash, and then we're going to pray that I hit every Hydro Pump, because I don't think there's another way I can win this. Uh, well, I can use Psychic on this one, but after this, I just have to click Hydro Pump and pray. <laughs> if I had a wide lens, this would be a perfect spot to use it. I definitely outspeed everything. Get him off the field. Please, thank you. Jeez. I really hope I don't have to rely on Shulker doing a Shell Smash sweep for every chin battle. That would be lame. I missed the first one. Cool. Uh... Beautiful. Just what I wanted. Alright, well, at least we know he leads with, uh, okay. So I know how download works. I'd have to lead with Tequilo. Stop losing? Stop. No, actually, what the heck? It's random luck which boost the Porygon Z gets if I lead with White Claw. <laughs> Alright, let's try again. There's not literally anything I can do, because I can only go up to level 55. Honor runs are all about the losses and learning to overcome. They really are. Uh... I don't think there'd even be a way I could activate the Inferno Field. What boost did it get? I didn't even look. Yeah, I didn't even see what boost it got. I don't... It doesn't matter. <laughs> We got special attack, okay. Whatever. We're fine. No, but if you have a Pokemon with Sludge you Wave, you could go Corrosive. Quick question, where do you find Chinchow? I don't know. <laughs> uh, Just anywhere underwater? That's kind of lame. I 
I should have gone and bought healing items. I'm smart. But yeah, it, it makes sense that it's underwater. I just wish Chin Chow evolves so early that you'd think that you could get one sooner. You know? Thanks. This one's a different nature. It lived to. I'm disappointed in myself, really. <laughs> Here's a thought, right? There's one extensive set that becomes available after the 13th badge. Extensive set. Not sure what you mean by that. Being real. And that's why when it, I'll be telling you how to get Mudkip. Okay. I mean, I think Mudkip and Poplio are the only two that I don't really know how to get. So. Oh no! I've gotten Mudkip before. It's in the, uh, Azerine Lake, isn't it? That was one of the ones I did get. Poplio is the only one I didn't, I think. Oh, I shouldn't have gone straight for this. Now I think about it. Does a plus two psychic kill at this range? Does it have a focus sash? <laughs> Let's find out. Honestly, if a psychic doesn't kill at this range, it's stupid. Because Beware is not that bulky. Yeah. Now I just need to hit my hydro pumps, just like last time. Uh, it. Are you kidding me? Probably is less labor intensive than Mudkip. I would hope. Yeah, that's just big dumb right there. And it knows Thunderbolt. I can tank Thunderbolts. That's not an issue. But. It's just that it's a giraffe rig, so it's not going to die in one. That's a, just a hard F right there. I can win this, though. This is why I save before every fight, right? Chinchino? Oh, I can't win this. <laughs> Never mind. Nah, Shulker won't live a bullet seed from a Chinchino. I was gonna say, I can use my max revive on Shulker and then get another shell smash up, but no. There's no way that's happening. Tell a joke? I, I don't have any jokes. Um, there's no point in even going out to Jack Daniels earlier in the fight, actually. I just realized. Alright, you gonna get another special attack boost? Porygon? Let's see. All right, whatever. Uh, it doesn't matter. He just sweeps anyway. You know what? No. We're doing this properly. Where's my other focus sash? I don't really want to use it, but if it'll get me through without losing 
White Claw, then I'll do it. How high in the apartment store can you go? I can go up six floors. I think I can buy Focus Ashes right now. Alright. I don't have any items to give anyone else, so... Let's do it this way. If I, I can live a discharge now, so... Four six should have tight berries. True. True. But I have no money. <laughs> I need to start resetting after each loss. Hee hee been crunching. Let's go. So I live one. The tight berry won't matter with White Claw. <laughs> He'll still die. There's no way he's living anything from this thing. That's true. I could use the repeat. It has a Patea Berry. <laughs> Hold on. Let's uh let's try this again. Maybe focus Ash Sharpedo is not the way I want to do this. And I got paralyzed. Brilliant. Okay. How much does this do? Not enough. All right, we're not gonna run Focus Sash then. It it's not enough to live. It'll just activate Porygon's. Uh, hold on, let me let me just test this. Right. I think I have a Water Gem. Please tell me I have a Water Gem. I don't. Alright, whatever. We'll still try it. I don't know how much damage Aquatail does, but we'll see. If it does more than half, then I can just send out Sharpedo afterwards and Aqua Jetta. That's not more than half. Kinda wish I had a Jellison. That would be really helpful for this fight. Crunch might KO from this range. Let's see. Of course it didn't. Beautiful. Uh, well, it's okay. We can still do this. Um, I really wish that would have knocked him out. That would have been really helpful. I think that's the first time White Claw has gotten experience in this fight. <laughs> Wait, I don't know if I actually outspeed Swallow or not. I should have tried for a nice Fang there. Facade right off the bat. Alright, um... Hello? Thank you. Actually hit the rock slide this time, good. Where I don't have a move to hit this thing with, so just kill me. Would be nice to keep, uh, what 
White Claw alive for the... Oh boy, he missed. <laughs> I wish I would have given her a white nibble white herb. That would have been great. Oh well. Now. Hear me out. Can we not miss the Hydro Pump this time? That would be amazing. Shulker for the love of God. No, it's not. <laughs> it is most certainly not. I would have been surprised if I... Why does it know Thunder Wave? <laughs> no, you really didn't jinx it. I've literally missed every single time. It's not something you guys are doing. <laughs> oh, we're just going straight into this garbage, huh? Alright. Clefable's an issue. Uh... Not if I can hit another one of those, though. I know it's going to use stark power. I can't... It knows soft-boiled. Are you kidding me? Alright, um... So... Here's how this. Here's how we're gonna do this, right? I'm gonna use my max revive. Bring Shulker back. <laughs> I can't freeze it. Aurora Beam can't freeze. It sucks, but it's true. I'm gonna go for another Shell Smash, right? And then we're going to pray, because <laughs> this Clefable, I can't really do much to it, in general. I, I only used Wish to make sure that I didn't die when I switched in. Oh crap, I faster than it. Oh, this isn't going to work, is it? Do you know Thunderbolt as well? This won't kill me. Yeah, there, there was no way that was going to kill me. Okay. Of course, he hit this Hydro Pump. That won't matter. Uh. Hidden power what? I don't think I can win this, though, because he's got too high of a defense now. I don't have anything that can poison him. How much does an air slash do? Maybe I can flinch him out? Nope, that's not happening. This thing can't even hurt me. The problem is it's just gonna use soft boiled. Please to Kilo. Oh my god, that doesn't do anything. Yeah, there's no way there's no way I'm beating that thing if it's at plus four in defenses. Let's try again. That just is just not happening. Oh boy, what lag. Uh <laughs> Alright. Just do the same thing we always do. Get this Porygon out of the picture as quick as possible. FK? Alright. Hey, that's actually a good amount of damage this time. This is good. I might be able to do something with this. Thank you, Schnapps. You did well. Now a crunch should knock it out. Yeah, okay. Finally. Now comes the Swallow. 
I want to know if I outspeed the Swallow, honestly. You should get a Pokemon that learned Taunt so Clefable cannot use Soft Boiled or Cosmic Power. That would be a good idea. I don't have anything with Taunt. Uh, Pampor can get Taunt. No, I'm not going for Ice Fang, because knowing my luck, I'll just miss. Ah. Cool. <laughs> okay, Swallow, very cool. Nice and practically killed yourself in one turn. <laughs> oh, if only I had a little more health. This is good, though. It, we're making progress. We're doing better this time than last time. Skull Bash? No thank you. It's a terrible move. Beware. I don't have anything for Beware. Just Aqua Jet it. I kind of need to use the Beware to set up with Shulker, though. So. It's unfortunate. But I'll do it. Why Zen Headbutt? Ah, that's why. Okay. Fair enough. That's annoying. Why is he, like, switching between moves? I don't get it. there were any chance of me being able to get up two shell smashes, I would totally would. No question about it. Can Shulker, I'm begging you. Please. <laughs> I'm just not going to continue the fight if I miss that Hydro Pump. Like, it's not okay. <laughs> Is that... Oh, crap. <laughs> that one was just me misclicking. So, yeah, there's literally... <laughs> I can beat it if I miss the Hydro Pump, but I don't want to go through that. So... I know I can do this. It's just a matter of hitting that one attack. I haven't missed any other attack that's important, just that one. Get him. Got him. <laughs> I really couldn't care less if I outspeed you, dude. As soon as I can buy Focus Sashes, I'm getting like 30 of them. Just for White Claw. No, I don't want Skull Bash. It's probably an Assault Vest Beware, if I have to guess, because I haven't seen him use a status move. What's it got? Hammer Arm, Stomping Tantrum, Zen Headbutt, and Ice Punch. Salt Vest's not enough to save him, though. Please? Shulker, please. 
It's only a 15% chance to miss. Thank God. Holy crap. Two more. You only need to do two more. Okay, one more. Come on. You got this. You can do this, Shulker. Okay, you've carried me through a different fight already. You can do this. They can't always get what they want. Shut up, Noel. I'm gonna punch you in your little stupid face. I shouldn't have said anything. <laughs> Oh, uh, do I live? Do I live one? I live one! It's okay, we get another chance. <laughs> Please? Okay, I hit it. This won't kill though. It's a Clefable. Oh, it killed. Oh my god. Thank you. Well, Nomos, I think they're setting a new standard. Yay! Great job, Felix! In accordance with official leak. Reborn League policy, I have present to you the standard badge. Yeah, you better, stupid child. By having the standard badge, Pokemon up to level 60 obey. Additionally, I'm g supposed to give you this. Hidden power. I'm sure you know, but hidden power's type changes bases... <laughs> hidden power's type changes based on the Pokemon using it. It's useful to unlock inner potential and stuff. If that's alright... Did I miss something? Felix just beat Noel for a badge. How's how's Charlotte? She's fine, but I think she needs some time alone right now. What happened? Um, well, it was a long time ago, but when Charlotte was very young, there was an accident. Back then, we all lived together. Charlotte, Sapira, and I, and Mom and Dad. She would sneak out late every night, usually just to play in the garden or stare out in the lake. Nothing harmful. And that was fine, because it was safe here. But one night, she was playing with her Vulpix, and... As you can see, it's easy for a fire to spread in a place like this. Sephira woke me up and rushed me out of the house just in time, but our parents didn't make it. Ever since then, it's just been Sephira looking out for us, especially after the doctor took us in. She's kept us safe for years. I really hope Charlotte's okay. I don't know what I'd do if she, if she were... I'm sorry, I shouldn't cry. I'm technically an adult now. I should be strong like Sephira. No, it's okay. Cry all you need. Tears are just people's way of getting the sadness out of their body. Come on, let's go inside, okay? Nostra says she'll, you'll feel better if you have a snack and sit down. Alright. Thanks, Anna. You just relax, okay? Felix, can I talk to you in the other room for a second? I know the others are all trying to reassure each other, but I don't see the point in denying the obvious. The fact is, there's a very high chance that Sephira may not make it back alive. We can't sit around and wait for her, but there's still no way for Anna will let me leave. In short, I think you should go out and look for Sephira. We were all watching her when she was on top of Tanzan Mountain when that lady, Lynn, correct, appeared. Based on where she was, she and the Steelix fell, it won't be far from Tanzan Mountain. Whoa! Did the top of Tanzan Mountain just explode? That's that's where the Team Meteor's base was, isn't it? Perhaps you'd better hurry. Oh, hold on. I didn't talk to Shelly. I hope everything's alright. Serves Team Meteor right. What could have happened? And where's Charlotte? You can buy Focus Bands, but I don't think Focus Sashes are purchasable. Well... <laughs> Focus Band is a useless item, so I guess I'm not. <laughs> now I can go and get that room. And I only want to because there could be an item there. I couldn't care less about Survivor. Yeah, it's completely dead now. That's the trigger for it. Okay. This one doesn't even have Arena Trap. It's just annoying. There we go. Ah. Hey, 
cute little hippo. It's a dumb snake anyway, yeah. I'll kill it. <laughs> uh, hold on, let me get off the bike. Oh yeah, there's a rock down here. It's worth coming here. Imagine a random Pokemon having Sturdy and Revenge. Well, I do know about the Aeron strategy, which is Sturdy plus Endeavor with a Shell Bell. It's a near-invincible strategy. Where the heck is this item? <laughs> oh, this is a Zap Plate, yeah. The worst plate. Oh, yeah, that's where I need Rock Climb. Oh, there's an upgrade down here. Wait, there's no survivor. Oh well. I can sell that upgrade for a profit. Oh, hello, buddy. Wanna die? Uh, I think... There's one in the Tohomon game. Oh. I mean, it is a good strat. To be honest. Though I think reversal's probably stronger. Oh, that isn't the room with the survivor? Oh, well. <laughs> I guess I don't even need to go to the survivor then. I just wanted to see what was in that room. Is that the earliest you can get an upgrade? Because if it is, that Porygon is a Porygon for a long time. Oh boy. Oh, I remember this. No, I don't like this fight. Next special attack, that's gonna be useful. Ah! Hello. <laughs> well met, Felix. Don't look so surprised to see me. Do you really think I would go down without a fight? I'll admit, that woman caught me off guard. She seemed to know about my family, but I didn't recognize her. Well, it doesn't matter. I already snuck back in and terminated their base. And I've got a present for you. It's everyone's favorite douchebag here to fight you once again, yeah. Team Meteor has been desperate to seize those objects. One of them even belonged to Anna. I would give it back to her, but that would just paint a target on her back again. As it is, Meteor already knows where you're, they're being kept, and they're not going to search our house regardless, so I need you to take these and leave. The rest of us will relocate. <sighs> Excuse me. Up north in the Carnelia region, there are two cities, Labradora and Calcinon. The gyms in those cities belong to Charlotte and I. I'll take everyone up there, but it's best if you go on your own way. You can defend yourself against Team Meteor if they come after you for those keys. Be careful, we'll meet again. just put the music back to what it's supposed to be. I don't remember if there's any items here. I'm gonna check anyway. There's one. Not a very useful one, but it's one. Oh, uh... Yeah, I can't do this yet. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I need a specific item for that that I do not have. Five. Okay, so there is exactly one new water type in this area that I can get, and it is my favorite evolution line, period, but I'm probably not going to get it, because I have Tequilo. Eh, come on. Jeez. Uh... I remember this puzzle. I don't know if I want to take the time to do all of it, but there's a lot of items in here. Oh, I just saw him. Okay. I don't remember this fight at all. It's the most forgettable one. Thought I heard a bug or something crawling around over here. 
Guess I was right. Sup, come here for the gym? You didn't know? There's a huge castle to the east serves as a gym. So I'm up to eight badges now. Ha, you're only at seven? Falling behind already. And to think you started before me. You think I'm wrong? Try me. Oh, I want to beat him up. <laughs> oh, hello. That's new. Oh, what the heck? He's actually really low leveled compared to me. It's just this field effect. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, I don't like that. Please don't. Are you, are you catching Dupiter? I like Dupiter. The reason I wouldn't catch it is because I have a Mantine. Wait, what the heck hit me? Why was I we Oh, the Doug Trio did. Um... Yeah, if I want to get Dupiter, I kind of have to go through half the... Oh, boy. Uh... Huh. Well, here. <laughs> I, uh... Might have made a small mistake. Maybe. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. I honestly thought I got healed somewhere. I don't know where I thought I got healed. I would still get Dupiter before going to Badge 10. I will, trust me. I'm gonna have every possible option available to me before I go up there. Watch me win anyway. <laughs> that would be amazing, but it's never gonna happen. Roserade? Yep. That was super predictable. But actually, I have a hard counter to this Roserade now. Oh, but it's so high level. Ooh, ooh. Oh, but the grass too. Oh, this isn't good. I can kind of tank it. <laughs> you know what? No, Mantine is a hard counter to Roserade. I can two-shot it with Air Slash. Oh, no, I can't forgot. Okay, I'm willing to lose right now. <laughs> yeah, screw you, Fern. No, I don't need to grind. I came in here with half my team dead. <laughs> Uh, I, I'll be fine. I can do this. It's not an issue. Okay? I'll tell you how I can do it. I'm gonna let Shulker sweep. <laughs> as far as he can. <laughs> like, I don't like relying on Gorvis, but if it can pull through every single fight, I might as well use it. Yeah, if I hadn't gone into that fight with literally nothing, I would be okay. Yeah, I done goofed. Yeah, this isn't a Nuzlocke. I would, I would have lost a long time ago if this was a Nuzlocke. Also, welcome to the stream, Stu. How you doing? Hope everything's going well. I can probably sweep his entire team with Gorbis, right? He only has a Decidueye. That's the only threat. Mono run Nuzlocks are hard in even official titles. It's true. But at least in official titles, you normally know what to expect. In this, you don't. <laughs> Fern's just a piece of trash. uses cheap tactics to win. I mean, seriously, who even uses a Dragon Dance Pokemon nowadays? So cheap. Like, setup mons, they're just the worst, right? They're so boring, you can't use them properly, right? 
look at this Fracture. Take Fracture, for example. Like, this Dragon Dance isn't going to help him. I beat Fracture 10 times out of 10, just with one Psychic. And it's not even weak to it. It's just such a weak dragon. I don't know why they bother adding it into the game. Setup? Don't even try, dude. It's not gonna work. <coughs> <laughs> Alright, let's just finish him off. It's <laughs> Yeah, Shulker's just gonna sweep him. I don't know how else I would get through this fight. I think every single time Fern pops up, I'm just going to sweep him with Shulker. I think that's my best option. <laughs> oh, hello, Scyther. Can I, I think Psychic is strong enough to just kill for a Scyther. Oh, it wasn't. Oh, boy. He's not going to one-shot me. I don't even need to worry. This, this Gorbis is just too strong. If I EV train it, it's just gonna break the game, I think. Alright, Decidueye, yep, saw that coming. I'm not gonna be able to, like, Shulker's not gonna be able to beat Decidueye. Did he be train it? I didn't have the money to buy the berries to reset his EVs. I totally would. Like, as soon as I have enough money for the berries to reset all of those stats, I will EV train everything. Okay, <laughs> White Claw, <laughs> you're the other one that just kind of destroys everything, provided you don't get hit. What's the last thing? It's Rhydon? Wow, that's sad. Can we get a, an F in the chat for Fern? Like, <laughs> that's honestly sad. Try not being cheap for a change. Yeah, no. <laughs> it's the only way I can beat you, dude. Whatever. Not like it matters. I think we all know who the real top dog is anyway. Anyway, yo, the dumb guards into Agate City are like forever asleep or something. So I'm going to try and track down that normal gym leader. Some dumb kid. Guess he ran away from his place in Lapis. Later, loser. Hey, we did it. If you can do it before badge 10, at least after badge 13, the game does make it slightly easier to remove large chunks of EVs. Yeah, I... Wow, Jack is fallen behind. That is kind of sad. I wish I hadn't have done that to him. Okay, time to explore... Nugget, time to explore Route 1. Oh, this is going to take a while. I would not be surprised if the rest of the stream is just this route. This place is huge. And I know I need to go to the right, but I do also want to explore as much as possible. Yeah, I want to take you on, boy. What do you think? A... Gothita? What is his strategy here? Well, hello. Uh, that's a level 60 Luxray. Um, okay, sure. Why not? <laughs> you know, I was kind of hoping to give Jack some XP, but I guess I won't. This trainer has a bit of lore to him in the past. Really? This guy, of all things. Uh, like, did they program him wrong? Oh, I'll explain. Okay. This will be interesting to hear. I didn't think any of the normal trainers had any backstory to him. Wow, I don't have any switches for this. That was a crit. 
Wow. <laughs> That was an insane crit. I should live one, right? Soda Pop's pretty bulky. Yeah. On the old website for Reborn, there was a Pokemon type quiz that would ask you questions and give you a type based off of your answers. Oh, I know what you're talking about. Yeah. Ooh, yes, finally. I don't have to worry about mud bomb misses anymore thank you useless Pokemon yeah I think I took it once I, I didn't that would have never crossed my mind in a million years <laughs> but now that you say it I do remember Questions followed the story of this trainer who didn't care for his low-level Gathita because it was so weak. Yep. <laughs> so this is where you get Mudstale. Alright. Never actually knew that. Uh. Alright, let's start the puzzle. I gotta kill this Tauros. But yeah, I, I'm honestly surprised that they thought so far ahead to put that trainer in the game. Go, Buffalon! Good job. <laughs> what? Ooh, money. Um, are there any trainers here? Doesn't seem to be. All right, let's keep going. I'm at the corner. Okay, good. There's hidden items everywhere here. Oh, hello. Hello. Uh, Galissapod. Perfect. Do you forget some of the minor details? This was a couple of years ago. Yeah, I don't remember exactly all the things that there were, but I do remember the Gathita. I know he eventually traded it away as well. Ding. Good job, Tequila. Man, I really love Mantine. I know a lot of people don't because he's kind of weak, but... That special bulk is just exquisite. Heh, <laughs> haven't heard from the Azerine Center. I wonder why. Uh, isn't there a hit? Yep. You remember the quiz told me I was steel? It gave me water psychic. Like, <laughs> of all the types. Dad gummit, I dropped my glasses while doing research in the woods. It's a miracle I made it out of that stupid forest maze, but now what will I do? Oh yeah, I remember that guy. Tempted to capture some of the bug types in the forest to study them further, but then when they're enraged in combat with each other, it seems they're impossible to catch. Their focus is honed by the point that they can easily deflect any ball. Unfortunate. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> if only I was doing a psychic run. Wide lens! Yes, I want that. Did you know there's a certain Pokemon that evolves only when you want it not to evolve? Ain't that crazy. This is the kind of stuff I live for. Now we need to figure out why it does that here and not in other regions. Huh? <laughs> Reborn's environment has been desecrated, so there's no longer many places to grow berries. The forests around here are a bit of an exception. If you find a spot to grow berries, feel free to use it. On another note, there are also a variety of sun dries that have been lost in this area. Never mind passersby cleaning up, so if you find something, help yourself. To that tune, you might find this would be of some use. My browser is hating Twitch, only now is it playing the stream smoothly, and it's stuck in 160p. Wow. <laughs> I normally don't have that big of a problem. 
Oh yeah, this is the guy that wants Dunsparce. I don't even want his reward, honestly. Yeah, I hate when Twitch just throws a fit for no reason. Okay, let's uh, set the item finder. Okay. And now we can actually start on the puzzle. Oh boy, this puzzle. It's a long one. Can we maybe do it all tonight? Probably not. <laughs> maybe we can get to the Doom Fighter tonight. That's only like... Wow, that does no damage. Um... Holy crap, I can't even hurt this thing. Wow. It. I doubt I'll be able to get through all of it tonight, but I do want to clear the forest eventually. I'm only probably going to go to, like, midnight. So, however far we get is how far we get. Start with the north. Yeah, I'll start with the north. Don't worry about it. Riding hold. Tauros, hold A key to dismount. Got it. I will start with the north, but I do want to, like... Yeah, I knew there was an item here. I want to try to get all the items from this area, too. Oh, hello. Um. So I need to beat that Bufalant. No, I don't. <laughs> Wait. What's the point in that log? Okay. But yeah, I want to fight the trainers. I probably won't need to do any grinding today. Yeah, I have rock slide. Okay, settle down, Toro. I mean, Pinsir. Now, the whole reason for beating that Bufalon is so that you can ride Tauros up and down there. The thing is that there's a spot you can ride him past anyway. Uh. Seems unnecessary to me. Alright. Sure. We'll take it. <laughs> I actually do need to train up White Claw. He's gonna be useful in the next gym. Hoo-ha. Hoo-ha indeed. Alright. Uh, what else? I think that's the... one of the last guys on the route, at least. You. Giddy up indeed. Oh, hello. I don't like you. It's... I think we found the one thing that's faster than the Sharpedo. <laughs> that's impressive, because I have max speed. <laughs> uh, sure. Wow, it actually lived. No, Zim Striker really isn't very good. I wish it was better. I really like its design. Uh, no. Switch. Thank you. Well, that just seems pointless. Oh yeah, this is the gate. Alright, well, that's exploring over. I think there's some items down here. Somewhere. Oh well, we'll worry about that later. Alright, let's go and fix the north then.
Hello? Excuse me. I can escape if I want to. Thanks. Yeah, I can just run past that log. I don't know why it's there. Alright, let me try to remember how exactly you're supposed to do this. This isn't it. Oh, is there a log to move up here? Yes. This is a Tauros I have to beat. But yeah, this is a long side quest. And doing it all tonight is probably impossible, at least within one hour. Go on, Buffalant. Good boy. Is there a log to move down here? Yeah, I'm, I might as well just beat all of the Tauros. Just get all the logs moved right now. Oh wow, oof. Intimidate. Forgot they got this. No one didn't. Get him out of here. Go to sleep. All right, see you later, Jewel. Have a good night. Have a good sleep. Get out of here, you stupid bison. Oh wait, this is items, isn't it? Pan Sage? Oh yeah, you can get Pan Pour here, can't you? Uh, let me just try to remember. Ah uh, yes, I... You know, I don't really have any candy, now that I think about it. Is this a spot I'm supposed to get off, or is it somewhere else? I think it's... Let's let's finish the Buffalons first. We'll check that later. That one I already took care of, I think. Oh, this is way back. I don't need this. Oh, hello. Oh, my ears are itchy, but I need to not scratch them. Because my ears are practically dead. But yeah, just generally, I actually really like this puzzle. It just takes so long. And I wish you didn't need honey for it. Okay. Let's see. That bouffalant does not go to one. something here. No? Hello? What? Electric gem. If I had a lantern, that would be great. Loudred. I haven't seen a Loudred in a long time. It's just one of those Pokemon you don't see outside of Emerald. Ah! Oh, I'm out of Aqua Tails too. That's not good. 
Crabominable is a scary Pokemon. In more ways than one. Uh, please kill. <laughs> Thank you. I regret it not. Shut up. <laughs> oh, there is another log. Okay. Let's get this bouffalant going then. Get him good to Kilo. I did. I did. Did I tell you to miss? I don't believe I told you to miss. There we go. I can one shot them. That's good. Alright. Was there one down here? There always is one. Good news is, once I get all these log moves, the only reason I'll have to fight these guys for is for riding Tauros. Plus they're a good source of XP anyway. Yeah, go on. Oh, hello. How are you? Should we have a real trainer? Excuse you? You saying I'm not real? <laughs> I think you underestimate Mantines, dude. Maybe you don't. Maybe you don't underestimate the Mantines. Maybe they're just <laughs> not that great. Wow. RN Jesus is not on my side today. It really isn't on my side today. Good lord. Can you not? Thank you. It's times like these that I really wish Mantine wasn't a flying type. Could just give him an iron ball, I guess. <laughs> what a useless thing to do. Oh, uh, this this Starmie. Man. Gotta love Recover Wars. It's gonna run out of Recovers before I run out of Signal Beams. So. Plus, I'm very slowly damaging it. Can I get a crit, please? Just so this doesn't take forever. Well, no, but... This isn't a waste of time. I have not been counting his recovers, but I'm just going to assume that he's going to run out soon. Hit yourself. Thank God. <laughs> Finally. Skarmory. Hmm. That could have been so much easier. Oh, don't talk to me about EVs, kid. You don't know what you're getting into. Oh, hello. What? This is the one that I can't ride the Tauros past. Nope. Good. Alright. 
it. Up here? Oh, hello. Oh. You saw that just now, didn't you? Yeah. Don't assume you know what's going on. Do us both a favor and stay out of this. Got it? I don't know what sort of hero complex you've got ingrained into your head that you feel the need to jump into anyone else's business, but a little piece of advice? Build yourself a little bridge and get over it. Alright, I just was walking through, but sure. <laughs> Hello, another Tauros. How are you today? <laughs> oh, I'm gonna be out of Hydro Pumps. That sucks. Ow! My health. Oh, come on! <laughs> I'm just having horrible luck today. Just the worst luck possible. Thank you! It actually missed for once. Get out of here, dude. Hiker Montgomery. What a name. Isn't this where I'm just... I just came from here. Ooh, that's a nice one. It's further down. Chewing gum. That's a nice find for other reasons. Uh, I don't believe this path is important. No, it's not. Okay. Why is it lag, though? <laughs> Red shard. Hey, hello. How are you? <laughs> what? Where'd you come from? <laughs> Just appearing out of thin air. Ah, you're a nerd. Get out of here. Well, that was quick. Okay, have I gotten all of the Bouffalant sites? No, I think this is one. I think this is the important one, actually. This is Water Pulse. I'm not going to waste my Hydro Pumps. I think Soda Pop's actually the best member of my team. He just... He's so strong, he's so bulky, gains experience faster than everyone else. Like... What not... What's not to love? What? There's actually an item here? Okay. I'll take it. Huh. Oh, no, I remember. Okay. I can't do it yet, though. That one's the actual clever one. Can I really not? Okay. You actually just can't get to those ones without getting off of the Toro, so I'll do that one last. A normal Pokeball. How good. Uh. That's money. Yeah, I'm fine, lady. Don't need to concern yourself with me. I'm just a dude with some fish. That's worthy of a Hydro Pump. No troll out allowed. Get out of here, lady. 
You don't even know me. Oh? Where? What? Where? Where is it? Oh, this is bugging me. Okay. Is it this one? Yeah, there it is. Uh, oh, okay. I didn't think this was a trainer. The noon. The noon isn't bad. That's bad. <laughs> Was his name Roach? What? It's the bush. Okay. Alright, that's it. Because this is the way I need to go, so I'm going to go back and do the puzzle now. Hopefully. So, if I'm correct, I need to start here. And just get off of the Tauros. Where's A? Did I do it? I did it wrong. Dang it. I already messed up. Wow, I can't remember this area very well. Cut me a little slack, man. A little slack. This is a really big puzzle. Is it this one, then? Probably, yeah. Nope. Where's the man? This is it. I recognize this. Yeah, I know. There's a hidden item here. Green shard. Picanium Z. Very helpful. <laughs> what? I don't remember if you can actually get this Pikachu. Nope, okay, this is a Volt Tackle teacher. Isn't one of these, like, not a Pikachu? Are these audio clips from the show? <laughs> no, I guess they're all Pikachu, okay. Hi, hi, random person who just walked into my house. My name is better left unsaid, but if you must know, I am Sir Elevillon Neo Neo Neo, Esquire the Third. You can just call me Neo. I created a Reborn's PC service systemy stuff, but now I just live here out here. Anyway, want me to heal your Pikachu? Sure, I'll better. Remember, when in doubt, eat it. Hey, Osk, how's it going? Welcome to the stream. Speaking of eating. If you have any foods to spare, it'll be happy to take them off your hands. Oh, is that candy you have there? Yes. Ooh, parsim parsimonious peppermint. You ate it all in one bite. Delicious. Here, as thanks, have some honey. Wild combi around here make it, and sometimes Pikachu find extra and bring it home. If you rub it on the bark of a tree, you may even attract special Pokemon. Or you could just eat it. No, don't heal my Pikachu. What's up? Uh... Honestly, don't know how I got here, but I'm here. <laughs> I, I feel like that's how most people find this stream. Uh, yeah, I'm just uh doing this puzzle, at least half of it right now. Uh, we've been going for a while. I'm doing only water types. It's been going pretty good, actually. Uh, I now have. Oh, I'm out of foods. Oops. Typed in Pokemon in Twitch, and here I am. Ah, ah, there's too many Pikachus. I mean, I'm glad you're here. Definitely. Uh, I can't really lead with either of these two, because I can't fight Tauros. But, uh... Whatever. We'll do it anyway. Cool, one of my favorites. Really? I'm glad to hear that. Oh no. 
<laughs> yeah, there's way too many Pikachus at that house. And I'm out of foods, man. I need more foods to give to that guy. <laughs> Yes, put honey on it. I'm gonna be lurking. All right, man. No problem. Glad to hear you're here. Probably going on about another hour or so, if I were to guess. Yeah, I know the bark's covered. Okay, now we just need to wait. We just get into a wild encounter and to wait. Come on. I know I can run into wild Pokemon here. There we go. I don't even need to fight it. It's just a trigger. Okay. Harry Potter was... You know, somehow I don't think that's true. <laughs> okay, I forget what triggers them to show up. Hello? <laughs> yeah, I really don't think the Soviets created Harry Potter, considering he's British. <laughs> yeah, that one's a bit of an oof, isn't it? Alright, did at least this tree get a thing on it? Yes, it did. Oh, how does this work? Pincer destroys the logs, so I need to kill the pincer. <laughs> Sorry, I always have trouble remembering the order it is for these guys. What's it using? <laughs> My nuts! <laughs> I was not expecting that. Also, that was complete overkill. It did... <laughs> it's This wouldn't be a battle if I didn't miss my first rock slide. It really wouldn't. <laughs> Storm throw. Can you calm down? <laughs> Jeez, get out of here. Yes, please destroy the whip. 20. What are these emotes? Oh, it's a progerity emote. Okay. And I need Tauros. Alright. Fair enough. Is the thing here? Nope. I don't know what triggers it, then. Maybe there can only be one at a time. Whatever. I'll fight another pincer. Sure. Ah, that's scary. Please don't sword stance. I don't appreciate it. My quick claw could pop, that'd be great. Nope, okay. <laughs> Jack, you're a bit slow. Not gonna lie. All right, schnapps, you can just come back out. Kill it, please. I don't have time for this garbage. Get him out of here. I should have used Aqua Tail, this might not. Alright, we're good. How much honey do I have? That's not honey. I kind of need to know. Because I might need to run back and buy a bunch of, like, peppermint to give to the dude. I have four. Okay. That should be at least enough for the north side of the route. Hopefully. Wait, haven't I been here? What? Okay. Beware. You can find wild beware. 
Alrighty then. Let's see. Oh, well. Can I not? Oh, no, I can go this way. Okay, we're good. We are good. This is all just for, like, one Pokemon, by the way. Oh, can I really not? What the heck? Yeah, the Adventuring Woods are just um, one of the most f frustrating places. Top 10 most frustrating places, real or imaginary. Number one, Adventuring Woods south, because the north side's not that bad. I need the Tauros, I guess. Okay. That's fine. I'll just get a Tauros then. <laughs> I'm gonna get a lot of experience to Schnapps in this area, which is good, because I like him. Even though he's probably not a permanent member. By the way, I don't think that Dupider is the only water type I can get here. I think there's another one. It might be Sveal, but then again, last time I talked about Sveal I was wrong, so... Where are we at? Oh, we're here. Uh, was there a tree down from here? Oh, there is actually an item. It's over there. All right. Sure. Uh, oh yes, there is a tree here. Okay, that's a little annoying. Wait, so you're beating Emerald with only water types. This is actually Pokemon Reborn. Not Pokemon Emerald, but they're Reborn, since it's not an official game, it doesn't have a category on Twitch. So I just have to set it to Emerald since that's the most similar. Oh hey, a shiny Spinarak. I've never seen this. This is a very well designed game. Uh I'm like a third of the way through it, I think. Maybe half. I don't know. Uh, but, yeah, it's rather difficult, and the story is a lot more m mature, let's say. You could probably say edgy instead of mature. I wouldn't blame you for that. But, yeah, I really like it. If you want to download it, it's a free-to-download game. It runs off RPG Maker. I'd recommend it personally. Hello, Orangur. Yeah, if I were doing actual Emerald, I would be probably nuzlocking it, not just doing a monotype. Because I've played through Emerald a lot. So, oh wait, I need to get my Tauros back. Ah, uh, there's one. Yeah, I've had some pretty tough uh, moments in this so far. You should have seen me fighting the first tank growth. That took me an hour. I'm pretty sure I only beat it because I got lucky. Hey, Vanessa Blue, thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. How you been? Welcome to the stream. I also like how the hidden item I was trying to get was a potion. Uh, well, I need to do both of these, but the pincer... I'll take you out first.
Yeah, I'm to the point where I don't need to worry about diversity in my party. Uh, since everything kind of... I have everything that I'm going to be able to get type-wise except for bug. Really, unless I wanted to cheat and use a masquerade. Since it evolves for a water type. Leaf stone? That's money. But ain't nobody care about a leaf stone in this playthrough. How much you stream? Uh, I try to stream every Thursday through Sunday. So, four days a week. Uh, I don't always get to stream every day of the week, though. Because I've got college and homework sometimes gets in the way. But uh, I'll definitely be streaming this tomorrow night, too. I'll probably start somewhere around 7 to 8 central. Oh, hey, I actually... Did I forget to... I don't think I slathered honey on the bark. Hold up. I need to do that. How many subs have you had? Only two. And one of them was someone I knew. Uh, Midlow in the chat is the other one. And I definitely appreciate it. Every time someone subs. I, I don't even, like, you don't even need to sub if you don't want to. I just enjoy when people are here to watch. <laughs> yeah, dude. Milo, you're great. Don't ever let anyone else tell you otherwise. <laughs> By the way, I'm kind of working in the wrong direction. Because <laughs> I'm trying to get to the Doom Fighter, which is on the right side. I keep going left. Yeah, I've only been streaming on Twitch since June? July? One of those. So. But yeah, I'm enjoying it. I won't always be playing Pokemon either, but right now, Pokemon is the forefront, because Reborn Water Monotype. Oh! Thank you for the sub, Osk! I appreciate that, man. Jeez, you didn't have to. <laughs> yeah, uh, Pokemon's gonna be at the forefront for the next couple months, probably. Because I got this going, and then Sword and Shield's coming out in, like, a few weeks. Uh, you seem cool, I enjoyed watching. Well, I, I definitely appreciate it. Here we go. This is one of the places I was trying to get to. Ooh, what did I just do? Alright, purple shards, too. Yeah, <laughs> thank you for the follow, man. <laughs> I appreciate it. Oh, hard rock. Rock! Alright. Now, I don't... 52! Uh... I might be able to get Sveal in here, which I would love. Sveal is one of the Pokemon I kind of want to really get. I think those were in the opposite order, don't worry about it. <laughs> I'm not worried about it, there is no order on Twitch. Ooh, that's money. Too bad Happini is illegal. Uh. Ooh, I have like a billion heart scales, but I'll always take more. Oh yes, this room. Oh yeah, you can catch Weasel here. Oh well. I already have a float soul. Don't really want to use it. Ah. Can I please just... <laughs> it can't even hurt me. Please just let me go. Thank you. Uh, oh, boy. Oh, this is where you get Glaceon. Alright. How to get green ball. Um. This is how. 
know how to get stair. Can I even get to the stairs right now? I don't think so. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if that was a no. Oh no, I think I can. I just have to figure out how to get up there. Left and down. Oh, no. Uh, oh, here. That was it. I can't get that, whatever it is. Ice stone. Neat. Okay, um... Well, this is convenient. Let's see what we can catch here. How many honeys do I have? I have one. Oh boy. All right, let's see what new water types we can get in this mountain. Remoraid, I've already got one. And it's a pretty good one, so I'm not worried about it. Anything else? I've never actually tried fishing in here before. What do we got? Another Remoraid? Cool. Cool. There's gotta be more than just Remoraid, right? We'll do two more encounters. Two more encounters, and if it's just Remoraid, then I'll just leave. <laughs> and I'll look it up later. Because I do kind of want to get to the dupe fighter tonight. Ah! Okay. I approve of that. I'll definitely take a clauncher. Oh, I do not have Pokeballs. <laughs> I'll have to go buy more of those two. The water gun Pokemon. Sure, let's nickname it. Uh, let's give it, name it Shoddy, because of the double entendre. I'm actually gonna keep it in my party though. Jack, I'm gonna send you back for now since I can't. I'm gonna send White Claw back for now. Uh, let's see, what do you got, bud? Brave? Doesn't really matter. Oh, wow, how garbage. Alright, one more encounter. If I want a Clauncher, I'll come back. I don't really plan on using a Clauncher, though. Kinda already got stuff that does its job better. Only thing I'd want it for is Heal Pulse. Just another Clauncher? Alright. I'm just going to go under the assumption that those are the only two things for now. And I can't do that. Okay. So that's all we can do in the mountain. Cool. Literally. That was good. Uh, I believe I got the ice cave readout? I want to say. Which is a nice one. If only because you can't get it any other place. Uh, and yeah, I gotta kill the Heracross now. Too bad he can't catch these things. Uh, in my mono bug, I'm actually using a Heracross. Or was using a Heracross. That is. Obviously, I'm not playing that game anymore. What's this? Hail? How useless. <laughs> why, why is hail here? <laughs> why don't I have sunny day? Or rain dance? Hold up. Where am I going? Oh yeah, that's right. How do I get over there again? Not sure. It's whichever path is directly... Hey, I need this Tauros, bud. It's whichever path is directly to the right from here. Oof. 
Bufalon might live this, yeah. Tauros is frail, Bufalon isn't. Alright, sure. It's okay, you don't really need to hit him right now. That's fine. Good job, good job. You're doing alright, Tequilo. Oh my god, this area is just so tricky to navigate on a Tauros. Okay, how do I get over there? I'm actually at a loss, because I think that's the only segment that I haven't beaten yet. It's got to be this one then, right? Hold on, the Dewpiters are this way. I need to just set the honey and then leave. I don't know if you need surf or you can just do it with a good rod. But I guess we'll find out, huh? Let's just run around. I need the Tauros. But not yet. Have we got any hair crosses up here yet? And nope. Unfort. Just gotta give it a minute. Let's run around for a bit. Who we got left? He's still not here. All right, game. You want to throw me a bone quick? I just need a Heracross, man. I don't know if it's time-based or there's something you're actually supposed to do in order to trigger it, but... There we go. Say Animus Heracross. What a word. That still does a lot for resisted damage. Go get him, bud. Thank you. Now I can go get my Tauros. And then that is the entire upper path done. Save that one area, but I don't have any honey, so I'm going to quickly run back to the city. Get some candy, get some honey, get some netballs. Uh, yes, Tauros, I need you. That's a mega stone. All right, let's see. Can I catch it with the rod? I really hope so. Hey. Ah, hello. Uh, no, 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 no. I didn't want you. I want your babies. <laughs> Hang on. Oh god, Araquanid is bulky. There's a reason I love this thing so much. Thank you. <laughs> I guess. Thank you. Uh... Alright, let's try to get a dupe hider, maybe. There's one. There we go. Look at this little nugget. He's so cute. Give him to me. He's trying his best. Alright. 
Uh, I'll just call him Drip for now. With two eyes, sure. And yeah, let's send Shoddy back. Oh, he's holding an item? Ooh! Okay, I guess I'm glad I caught it. Oh, but that is a bad dupe fighter. I'm actually gonna catch a couple of these right now. Because I probably will use one at some point. Like in the upcoming gym. 74! Alright, game. <laughs> that is unnecessary. I can't even go above 60 right now, man. Giving me a level 74 Araquanid. It'll lift a signal beam. Oh, maybe not. I forgot about how Forest works. Oh? Yeah, Water Bubbles with great ability. Thank you. Okay, what's that good? Fireball. There's no meaning behind my names, other than they're supposed to be alcoholic drinks. Serious, that's fine. You know, that's not horrible. I'm still gonna catch one more, just in case. I can get a really, if I can get a really good one, then it's most definitely going on the team. Come on. Thank you. This is the last one I'm going to do right now. Then I got to go back to the city, buy netballs, buy candies. Trade those candies for honey, and then that'll probably put me at time. Fireball Whiskey. Uh, I can't name it Whiskey, because that's the name I give to Lanterns. Uh, wow, that's kind of garbage, too. Alright, well, it was a good attempt. But yeah, I gotta go get more stuff. That's the wrong way. Wait, how did I miss... Oh, I know I missed this one. Because this is the one that's completely boxed in. Okay. And this is the only Buffalon that I haven't done yet. And I missed. Alright. There we go. Yeah, I've been having a lot of trouble with missing this playthrough. Because there's no good water moves that I can get. Oh, what the heck? Oh, yeah. This is like the very end of the south puzzle. Okay. I have to keep that in mind for when I do that next time. This is still the wrong way. It's just so big here. I honestly can't remember where, it was, where I came in at. Please don't. Bike, please. And then, where is the exit? Come on. Here it is. Alright. Oh, God, running all the way back to Reborn City from here is a pain.
I also don't have any healing items. That might be something I want to get at some point. That's a train. Hmm, thankfully, the two shops I'm trying to get to are right next to each other. So I don't have to be back here too long. God, I wish there wasn't a cave here. Oh my. Do, do, do. That's good. Come on. There we go. We're out. Zooming. God, this is so far away, man. Okay, first things first, I need candy. Which, hold on, I can sell some stuff. I picked up, like, a nugget and some stones I'm never gonna use. Also, the dragon gem. Yeah, not keeping that. Uh, I don't need upgrades, so I'm gonna get rid of it. And that's it. Okay. Wait, I need to sell the rare candy too. There's no point in it. Okay. Wait, I had two of them? Hold on. I didn't know that. Spotting more self stuff I can sell. I apologize. <laughs> I have a zinc too. What is up with this? There we go. Uh, let's get. What's the cheapest candy you got? I think it's peppermint. Yeah, it's peppermint. All right, let's get twenty-six peppermint. And then the rest will go to netballs. Wait, did you start selling the good ones? Nope. Friend balls are so expensive. Just buy 50. Sure. And now we gotta run all the way back. Oh boy. I'm gonna heal though. I'm going to be so glad once I finally get fly. This is definitely the most frustrating part of this game, is just walking around. It's just such a long journey. I also can't wait until I can finally revive that Helix Fossil. That'll be good. Star is a pretty good Pokemon. Definitely one I want. Okay, I still don't have the honey. Yes, Lord Helix. That is correct. Omanite is 
one of the best water types to just have IMO. Like, um, I'm trying to think. The only other water rock types that really compare to it, first off, Barbarical, which I already have, to be fair, but it's a physical attacker, and I have too many of those. Aside from Barbarical, there's really only Kabutops, which is also a physical attacker, so I don't really want it. Rock slides my best move for these guys. That's kind of sad. Oh, that's so sad. <laughs> Jack, you're not useful in this zone. Yo, why do I still have the dupe fighter? I just realized that. Whatever, doesn't matter right now. Not worried about it. We'll get a uh, white claw back once we're done with this area. Good. And it is this one, I believe. Yep. Ah. Sudowoodo. That's a Pokemon you don't see very often. I think there's a Meteor Grunt that has it. Oh, there's a... Is there a PC here? Nope, that's a Pikachu. Oh, there is a PC here. Yes, I can use it. Why are you... Why are you in box two? <laughs> Should be box five. But that... That Mystic Water was a really lucky get, I think, because I'm pretty sure it's a 5% item, like all the other ones are. Now nah, we'll just keep it on box 5, doesn't matter. God, Jack is going to be getting a lot of experience, like, training, once I get out of this place. Alright, let's just trade all of our honey. I mean, all of our candy. And then we'll go slather all the trees that I can in the south side, and then I will end off. Actually, I might raid Doc. He's still going. I just clicked something. I heard a special noise. I heard like a... I don't know what that noise is. I think it's the noise for getting a good result in the Pokeblock Mixer in Gen 3? Is that just part of the song? How many, how many more do you need, bud? How many more do you need, now? Are the Pikachus trying to converge on the staircase to trap me in here? What are they doing? All I really need is the TM for Waterfall, and Jack can finally catch up with the rest of my party. 
either that or some way to get Aqua Tail on him. Alright, Tauros, I need you. Been crunching, man. Get him out of here. Oh, that's gonna kill me. No, wait, what? I didn't do anything. Okay. Alright, let's go. Let's go slather some bark. We're gonna do it all right now. If possible, that is. Oh, this was a waste of time. Okay, that, that's the last one at the bottom, I think. Aside from the one that's completely blocked off, that is. Oh, hello. Get out of here, Spinarak. Nobody likes you. That's not true. I like Spinarak. He's cute. What's down here? Ah, okay. Good. As long as there's a tree down here, I'm okay with it. Even if it is a detour. you, but you're causing too much of a ruckus, man. Get out of here. <laughs> Boy, some people just have no manners. It's like you wanted my autograph or something. <laughs> Poor spider boy. There's more down here. There's a lot in this one, actually. Oh boy, I forgot how big this area was. Route 1 is crazy. Uh, okay. <laughs> sure. Makes sense. Oh, I need Tauros for this one. Okay. Let's get a Tauros then. That's death. <laughs> that's death. It's like that's land. Um, almost done. We are almost, almost done. So close. Come on, Tauros, buddy. I know you like me. Oh, where's the tree, dude? That's just not okay. <laughs> Alright. There is one that I missed. Thankfully, these things aren't on a time limit. That would be really frustrating. What do we got? Log. Wait, what? Hold on. Didn't I already hit the log there? Hold on, I'm suspicious. I'm suspicious of this log. That's fine. 
I was pretty confident I got all of the Buffalon logs out of the way, but I guess maybe not? Or is this one just supposed to be stupid? Oh, there we go. Okay. Now I need a Tauros, of course. Uh, <laughs> Hold on, is there one near here? Yes, there is. Perfect. Schnapps, please. Don't do that. That's not okay. We don't miss here. Right? Missing is not part of the quota. Well. Wait, I lived? Okay. Thought for sure that would be death. here then. Ah, more tall grass. Good. Uh, there's that one that I can't do anything with yet. Ah, okay. Sure. That's a bike. Is that it? Oh, that's it. Okay. Uh, I've got to go back up one more time though. Because there's that one spot that I can't get through with Tauros. And since that one requires two things of honey, I want to start with that one next time. If possible, that is. Get him, schnapps. Got him. Nice. Come on, boy. Let's go. We got a journey to go on. Oh, alright. Cool. Uh, <laughs> let's see. Nope, this ain't it. Alright. I need no Taurus. Everybody but Jack is getting tons of XP. I feel kind of bad. Since he is my starter and all. Oh, it's just weird, right? Swampert gets the worst moveset out of any water ground type. At least level up wise. Like, Seismitoad gets Drain Punch. Uh, Quagsire gets Earthquake really early. Gastrodon doesn't need a good moveset, because it's just broken. And then Whiskash is just really good as well. Not broken good, like Gastrodon, but it's just solid. Um, am I on drugs? Like, what is going on here? Wait, what the heck? Did I not go down here? No, I did. Here it is. Right? Yeah, this is it. Hello? No! The flowers, man. I hate the flowers. They look like you can just walk over them. Not doing that again. Okay. Well, that's the last honey. So... 
I think. Now would be as good a time as any to call it for the night. We'll finish this up tomorrow, this puzzle. Uh, for now, I am going to go ahead and... Yeah, good night, O's. Raid my buddy Doc, who's playing the Hour of Worlds right now. So if anyone's interested in watching the Outer Worlds and is a mature audience, then uh, go ahead and give this guy a follow. He's a great dude. He plays all kinds of games. And uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow when I finish up this puzzle and probably get to the next gym. Have a good night.